2011, the field is definitely stacked. We got all these guys back now. We didn't have Chad Reed and James Stewart last year, basically the whole season. And Ryan Villapoto and Ryan Dungey were kind of the guys. So we had this perfect storm now of the older guys and the younger guys are all colliding. But Ryan Villapoto, I think, has been the big surprise for sure. So that's the cool thing. Just when you think you figured it all out, there's a new thing uh, for the final in Vegas where we're going to have the final of both the East and West, crown champs in both then bring them back for a shootout against each other. So that's going to be good. And maybe, just maybe, the championship in the Supercross class on 450s will be on the line still also. And that might be the greatest night of Supercross we've ever seen. The hardest working people here are the mechanics. I was a mechanic. I know from firsthand knowledge. I mean, I took journalism in school, and I seem to be good at it. So I like bringing people behind the scenes. I see and hear a lot of things. But these guys are my friends, and I have to protect them in a sense of being, you know, doing the proper thing. I look at it like this. Am I there to eat or get coffee? If I am, and I witness something inside the truck, then that's not a reportable deal. Is there anyone that you can tell us about? I want the listener and myself to learn something. Ryan Dungey, he's very by the book, keeps everything close to the vest, you know, so I don't learn a lot from him. And to me, that's not an interesting interview. You know, uh, your guy, Reedy, one of the best. Open, honest, funny, you know. He's come a long way from the Yamaha days when I worked at Yamaha with him. We're in a real strange spot here in the U.S. as far as the teams go and the budgets, especially if you're a guy like Chad Reed, who he's used to making a certain amount of money and having things run a certain way. And he's been on every team here pretty much, and the welcomes were worn out. He'd already ridden for everybody, so he made his own thing happen, and there's a lot of pressure on the guy, but I think when you see him hanging out, I've never seen him more relaxed. I've never seen him have more fun at the races, so that's a good sign that he's in it for the long haul. But we'll see how long he can do this before it starts wearing him out a little bit. It's good coming to the races and seeing how big the industry is over here and seeing some fellow Aussies. There goes some of the Aussie riders here, JDR Dan Reed. Yeah. yeah. I always thought Ryan's brother Jay got a bad deal when he was here. Hurt a lot, fast at times. So obviously Ryan's picking up where that left off. I think it's good. I mean, I can't believe that a guy from Australia is setting up in these pits. What is the benefit of it? But on the other hand, it's awesome. Good for our sport. And, you know, I met the owner and I know Vince, the technical guy. I know Nathan Ramsey, all great guys. So hopefully they keep it around for a long time. I think if it doesn't work out for Simmons, I think he's got a career and wrestling afterwards. Have you seen the guy? He's a big dude. It'd be cool to see Simmons get up there in the top 10 or something like that. I think I'm waiting to see the real James Stewart. We knew the wrist injury. He took the proper amount of time. He was going to come back 100%. And to me, he's James Stewart. And this isn't just based on the last few years. It's based on his whole life. He's basically been unbelievably fast. Get a race in LA, and he had the lead, and he wasn't pulling away. And it's very strange to see that. And I guess until you see it happen a lot, I've got to believe eventually he's going to figure this thing out. I'd say the most outstanding surprise right now is Trey Kennard, who's gotten right up in the mix in his first full year on a 450. And we got a lot of other guys shifting around, like Kennard's a teammate and Josh Grant, who got hurt. Medi has moved up to Suzuki. We haven't really seen what he has yet. So right now, I'm kind of waiting for that next guy. The guys who are running up front right now are the guys we expect to be there. <laughs>